Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me and Julia, and I'm here to play with some new products. Well, new to me products. Okay, listen. Everyone, I'm sure, has heard of the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Really extensive, that's like a mini one. I heard that Elf has a dupe. This is the Poor Putty Primer, and I also have elf foundation to try so those are the things that we're going to be trying today i didn't prime my face all i have is some moisturizer on so i'm just going to go in with this elf and see how it works see if it's the consistency of the tatcha yes it is so basically you put this on your face, it's supposed to blur out your pores and help your makeup stay, which is exactly what the Tatcha does. I love it. Let's see. It feels exactly the same so far. Oh, I like that. <laughs> God, why do I always have a stuffy nose? Oh no. It feels like exactly like the Tatcha. And you know what? On my dry patches, because I have really dry skin right here and here, you can probably just see it. Um, it balls up a little bit on those dry patches. It makes like a flakiness, which the Tatcha does too, girl. So that also happens with that. I mean, that happens with any poor primer that I use. Um, I mean, I'm looking real blurred because I have huge pores right here. Let's see if I can put a little bit more focus. I mean, it acts like identical to the Tatcha. Okay, now we're gonna see if it wears like the Tatcha because the Tatcha, I remember when I first tried it, I was so shocked that my face wasn't as oily as it usually is because I have extremely oily skin on my nose, even though it's fucking dry. My nose, this part, the forehead. Before I put on my foundation, I'm just gonna spray my face with some rose water. Also gonna do a wear test for you for the foundation here in the store this was like one of the darkest shades and I'm not really that dark I mean I'm tan but I'm not dark so let's see here I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I matched decent so we're gonna see I'm gonna plop this thing in my hair Alright, I am really excited. So that's what it is on the back of my hand. I think it's gonna match really well. And it already oxidizes that. This side was on a little bit longer. So it does oxidize. So that's a good start. Just kidding. Alright, let's see. I mean, I guess it matches. I feel like I have to use a lot. That, like, two pumps on the back of my hand only covered that. And it's still, because you can see my acne still. I don't know. I'm gonna beat my face. See, it's already oxidizing a little bit. Oh, it's drying down really matte. Oh. God. 
I feel like I need to use like a whole bottle. Oh, you can see. Oh my God, my nose. Oh God, it's dry. I tried to exfoliate. I mean, it matches nicely. We're gonna put one layer on and then we're gonna put more on. But I feel like to get any kind of coverage or like to cover my face, I feel like I have to use a lot. I probably should have used a foundation that I'm familiar with and love while trying this buddy primer, but I just thought I'd do a two in one. Yeah, might as well. The pump is tricky. Stop tricking me. All right. I think the coverage is pretty good, but I'm gonna go over it here again. And on my forehead. I mean, this is like a ton of makeup. All right. I think the coverage is decent after I layered it up a little bit. That is on. I feel pretty good. I had to use a shit ton of product. I am not even kidding. Good thing it was only $6. This is the shade Cashew. And... I think it matches really nicely. I mean, it's a little light, but it matches my skin tone. I mean, it matches like the underneath of my arm. But I'm going to apply the rest of my face, give you some of my thoughts, and then at the end of the night, I'll give you my final thoughts. So just hold tight and I will be right. All right. So I applied the rest of my makeup. Um, I put on a bright red lip. I did something more neutral on my eyes. I didn't do a wing or anything. Uh, so far, I really like the foundation. I'm really surprised. I mean, it's really, usually I have a lot of trouble here, here, and my nose is really dry and I didn't exfoliate really well, so I should have known. There's a little bit of pulling together right there, but it's not bad at all. I mean, this foundation was $6, so... I mean, it doesn't have very high standards, sadly. But I'm going to wear this for the rest of the evening and into the night. I'm going to eat some food, probably a lot of ice cream because that's what little baby Eli wants. And I will check in with you. All right, guys. So it is now 10 o'clock at night. Um, it's only been about four hours Unfortunately, I had to do this after I got home from work, so I didn't have like a lot of time, but I feel like four hours is enough to be able to tell like what other foundations do and what this foundation is doing. I'm going to come in a little close. Okay, so you can see I usually, it usually breaks up here and here, um, and right there. I mean, so far, I mean, it's been really good and usually gets a little blotchy and patchy here too. I mean, so far, it's been really good. And I'm really impressed. And I'm really impressed with this poreless primer. I mean, that's... It's exactly like the Tatcha, which is crazy because the Tatcha is like, you know, over $30, $40. And this is 8 This is insane. It's crazy. And the e.l.f. foundation, if you have oily skin, this this is it. This is exactly what you need. It says it's satin finish, and it's satin finish. I mean, maybe I could have gone a little bit darker of a color, but I mean, that's what happens when you buy things from like Walmart or something. You can't really test it out that well. So my final thoughts, my final thoughts are, I think it's amazing. I think the poreless primer is awesome, and I think the foundation is awesome. And just in case anybody was wondering, just in case, this is my little free sample from ColourPop. It is star-crossed, and it lasted really well. I mean, I ate like two pieces of pizza, a bowl of cereal, and it lasted. 
pretty decently. I mean, there's some wear there. All in all, super impressed. I am super impressed. I think this may be a new favorite. Usually, my drugstore favorite is the Fit Me. But I don't know. This one might have that beat. I mean, I'll try it a few more times. And that's really well I'll figure it out. But for my first impressions of what I really think for the first time is for $6, you can't beat it. That is my final thought. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see things like this in the future. Um, like this video. Give me a comment. Um, have you ever tried this foundation? What do you think? Let me know. Until next time, guys. I will see you later.